Hi, how are you doing, Libra? This is your daily reading for June uh, 27th. I hope this reading finds you well. Uh, I'll be doing personal readings on Instagram for $35. Link is in the description. And I hope this reading finds you well. Ace of Cups in reverse. Um, Knight of Swords. The World Card. And a bunch of cards. And the Moon Card. Uh, the Moon is uh, telling me there's a situation you're stuck in the darkness in. Either could be love related. Uh, could be love related it could be um you're putting love on pause three of uh, swords and um, the queen of pentacles Libra, you're being defensive of your heart. I know, I know you went through some changes. I know you're going through some changes. I know you're trying to, uh, you know, just not let everybody in like that. You know, I know, I know. We all go through this, you know. But the more you be defensive of your heart, you stop yourself from um, having this. I don't want to say you stop yourself from feeling happiness. You're going to feel this happiness. I'm telling you, you are going to feel this happiness. It's just that it's not going to feel the same. Before I, I got into this reading, the first uh, the first take I did, I got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. And now the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse, which is telling me you're experiencing the dark side of wealth. You might be having this success in the balance around you, but you spending it, you trying to find a place to invest it, you trying to move forward with that is kind of causing you, there's something money related, there's, uh, you have abundance around you, but it doesn't feel the same, for some reason, it doesn't feel like, I don't want to say, you don't want to feel like it's good enough, you know, you probably, uh, you, you're probably looking for new directions to head in, but there is a, uh, there's something you're not accepting, there's something you're not letting through, it could be this pain you're feeling, some pain attached to a situation and uh, with the ace of cups it's probably a love situation you put on pause you put on hold or you don't even want to look at these emotions these situations we go in there is no coincidence in life we are supposed to feel this excuse me we are supposed to feel this pain and i'm telling you i, I know i can't give myself an as an example but I try my best to feel these emotions. Sometimes I put them on the side, but I'm telling you, the more, the more, the more we focus on other things and ignore our emotions, the more it builds up and it builds up and it builds up and it builds up. And let do we know it? It has blocked our happiness. I feel like uh, you being a bit uh, indecisive in what direction you want to head in. You know, you might be feeling some. Um, you might be feeling down on yourself, you might be feeling like you're not good enough, you might be having anxiety in a situation, you might not even be trying to accept what's going on, you know. You know, if this is a person you don't want, or just some situation you don't want to process, it's like, if you don't want a person, just make it clear, be expression, three of swords. Yes, there's a need to exp express what you've been through, what heartache you're feeling, what shit you are going through. Express it, let it out. There is nothing wrong with saying how you feel. If you don't feel like... Queen of Swords is somebody who went through some shit. Who's going through some changes. And now they're being defensive of their heart. They're opening up their arm to receive love or receive people in their world. But do you really think people are going to come in through like that? Queen of Swords, being defensive. You might be approaching a situation from the most defensive point ever. Or just looking at it from a whole different point. I got the moon card too. There's a whole new perspective you need to see. Or you might be stuck up in the darkness. 
and there's a, a light that needs to be shown on you, you know. I don't want to make any guess or an assumption, but I really think you have people around you, you have options around you. But when you're enjoying this happiness, it doesn't feel the same. When you're enjoying this um, abundance, it don't feel the same. Yes, I see you being happy in your life. There's a sun in your life. Uh, you're really going to be happy. Temperance, there is a really, really huge need for you to step out of your comfort zone. Comfort, comfort zone. <laughs> there is a really, really huge need for you to really step out. You know, what you've been doing, how you've been feeling. If you've been defensive of your heart, it's about time you feel it. It's about time you express it. It's about time you show it off either to your person or whatever you got going on. And watch how they reciprocate. You know, if the person who you're telling how you feel, or just how you want to go by things, they don't understand you, please cut it off. You still are the queen of swords. Cut it off. That's why you're the queen of swords. This opportunity is being presented in front of you. This ace of cups is being presented in front of you because the, we damn well know or oh, just I don't know we know that your heart is defensive trust me, me saying we it feels awkward but that feels like the right word to use, trust me, I do not know why with the queen of cups, it's like you're putting the love situation in delay, you're putting it on pause because it made you feel some sort of pain and you're not trying to feel that pain so you're really not trying to face that love it could be a soulmate, it could be a partner it could be somebody who you makes you happy it could be a long term um, wish that's coming true it could be like, hey, what's meant for you will always come back for you yeah, that's coming back for you however, you're not accepting it because you're not accepting the pain you're not accepting the person to come through because you're not ready to feel the pain You're being encouraged to move forward. For your reading, you get the Knight of Swords, the Wild Card, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, the Devil, and the Three of Wands. You're being encouraged to move forward. Just go bold. Go at it. Really, just... Go at it. You have the Wild Card in front of you. You have new beginnings. Happiness. Yes, this situation might be toxic. I'm not gonna lie to you. You might be dealing with a Capricorn too, the devil. Um, shut up. Uh, you might be really um, just even coming out of this toxic situation or just trying to get somebody to hold you down. But you gotta be willing to feel this pain. I just feel like the more you walk away from this love, the more you walk away from this pain you're feeling, the more you get yourself in this toxic situation. You might be being cold to experience this new world, and probably if you're not trying to face this love, if you don't want this love anymore, please, there are new worlds, new cycles that are waiting you, you know, but be careful. Be careful of the situations you get in because with the devil it's like you are getting in situations where you get what you want and your person get what you, they want it's not an equal give and take but it's talk that's why it's toxic you know and later you will realize that is the decision that needs to be made better now than later better safe than sorry and with the happiness, temperance, and the four of cups, I really think this situation is really meant for you. You, it feels like ten of cups, ten of pentacles. Both of you can work together. Both of you can really make each other fluid, flourish. However, and there is commitment. Hierophant, the eight of eight of cups. It's about time, and I feel like you see this too. There, there is no way I can come off with another story because the more I dig into it, it just makes sense. 
you're really not trying to feel this pain, but you know it's love. And you're putting that love on the side because you feel defensive of your heart. You might, have, you might be going through some situation, you might be in a connection that's toxic, and you're not ready to receive this Ace of Cups. And you're being advised to walk away and chase commitment down. That's the best way I can put it. Put your buttons down. Put whatever you're holding down. Put something. There is something you really you holding on to. Let it go. Let it go. Because there is happiness in terms of family happiness. Let's get together. Let's enjoy this happiness. Emotional fulfillment. And with the eight of swords, I really see you being uh, a bit defensive, thinking that you're stuck in the decision. But you're not. You know, you just got to move forward, you know. Queen of Pentacles, you really might be... Um, I don't want to say financially stuck, but I already got a ten of cups and a pin of. Uh, you might be enjoying your success, you know, but not trying to maintain it. It might be really hard, you know. Trying to maintain everything that's going on might be really hard. Uh, let's be honest, it's really hard to come up with the next month rent. So yeah, you're trying to settle down and trying to find a place to invest. That can give you a hard time and it puts, puts you in the pause mode or just um, another situation. That's just my saying. Uh, Man, with the wheel of fortune, the devil, and the three of wands, you might be needing to make a decision. Uh, if this is a toxic situation you're in and you want to keep it going, please feel free to keep it going. With the three of um, wands, uh, if it's a if it's a direction you want to head in, or you at the crossroads that you're having, you're being a bit indecisive of. Who you want to keep in your life and who you want to let go who you want to really hold on to it might be a good time to make the decision you know it might be a good time to, to make a decision i don't want to say anymore